Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on my channel, Rochester Yoga. This is an outdoor flow for one of those days that's really nice out and you want to get outside and do something, just not sure what to do. So here's a little outdoor flow to appreciate the earth, the nature, the sounds around us. I'm not using a mat today, I just want to feel the grass on my feet, but if you have a mat, feel free to roll it out and join me. We're going to start taking our feet wider than hip distance apart, angling our toes out on a 45 degree angle, exhaling as we sweep our arms up, sinking our hips low and coming up for our sunflowers, feeling free to flow with our own breath, our own pace, making some room for our arms here. As we sink down, we can hinge forward at the waist a little bit, waking up the arms. We'll do one more here, and then we're going to hold in sun pose, taking our arms out to shoulder height, palms face towards the sky, widening our stance if we need to so that our knees are not going past our toes, finding strength here, creating dynamic tension, driving our heels together. Feeling the grass on our feet, maybe the unevenness in the ground. And then we'll bring our hands to heart center. Heel toe, our feet a little closer together. Sink our hips down for a yogi squat. If we have any knee discomfort, coming a little higher, just taking our hips not lower than our knees for any knee pain, taking care of those knees. If we have no knee pain, feel free to get down low, find some movement flow with this and then we'll invite a little bit of stillness using our elbows to press our knees further away from each other I'm gonna turn so that I'm sideways you guys stay where you are and then one more breath here then we'll plant our hands step both feet back downward facing dog feeling the grass or our mat Feeling the unevenness of the ground underneath us. The earth support us at our hands and our feet. Inhaling our way into plank pose. We'll shift our weight a little bit forward, lower all the way down. Untucking the toes, pressing up baby cobra or cobra. Exhaling down, tucking the toes, pressing back, downward facing dog. We're going to step our feet up all the way to our hands. Inhale our way. Sweeping our arms overhead if we choose. Bringing our hands to heart center. We'll prepare for our balance poses. Finding maybe a semi-flat spot on the ground we're on. We're going to shift our weight over to our left foot. Bring our right foot either to our ankle, our calf, or all the way up to our inner thigh. Pressing that foot in wherever we choose. Just being sure to avoid that knee. Pressing through the left foot. Keeping this hip engaged. If we want, we can grow our trees. Maybe take a moment here to appreciate any trees around you. Looking at the leaves rustling in the wind. Maybe we can even mimic that with our hands if we feel really stable. Relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears. Whenever we're ready, we can step out, bringing our hands to heart center. When we step out, we're going to cross our right foot over our left leg here and exhale our way down for a forward fold to really focus on stretching that left hamstring, keeping our spine straight as we exhale down. And then when we've gone as far as we can with a straight spine, we can exhale as we round out, bringing our head to our knees, sending our breath to the back of that left leg. And then we'll find our way back up, bringing our hands to heart center, uncrossing that right foot. We're going to take our weight over to our right foot now, again, maybe finding a semi-flat spot on the ground. And then we're going to take the inside of that left foot to our right calf, ankle, or if we want, all the way up to that inner thigh. Again, just being sure to avoid that knee, pressing the foot into our leg. Again, appreciating the trees. Maybe we grow our tree. Maybe we find a focal point to stare at that's not moving. If we feel confident in our tree, we can maybe look around. Maybe we can even be windy like the trees. Feeling the breeze as it comes across our face, our back. 
and we'll bring our hands to heart center when we step out crossing that left foot over our right foot exhaling our way down keeping the spine straight as far as we can rounding out when we've gone as far as we can sending our breath to the back of the right leg letting it all go every exhale brings our forehead a little closer to that knee being sure not to straighten and lock out our legs completely, keeping either a generous bend or a micro bend in both knees here. Feeling the earth beat us at our hands and our feet. Listening to maybe the birds, the wind. And then we'll inhale our way back up nice and easy take our feet next to each other again and then we're going to make our way down planting the hands and coming into a nice easy seat on the ground from here we'll inhale both legs up and we're going to do some toe taps nice and easy if this is a little crazy we could do toe lifts having our feet rest on the ground and lift them up coming into a half boat pose our arms can be out in front of us they can cross across our chest. Maybe we want to try those toe taps. Holding up here. <sighs> Using our breath. Engaging that core. Tapping down on the earth. Let's do one more each side, either toe taps or toe lifts. And then we're going to take the soles of the feet together for butterfly pose. Keeping a nice straight spine. Taking the hips out wide. The knees come down wide. We want to deepen the pose we can exhale as we hinge at the hips keeping our spine straight for as long as we can and then when we've gone as far as we can we can exhale rounding out through the spine bringing our forehead closer to the earth to the grass maybe reaching our fingers out feeling the grass around us listening to our breath One more breath here. And we'll make our way back up to a seated position. We'll bring those feet together. We're going to go into a inversion now to send our blood from our legs towards our heart, help oxygenate the blood. And we're going to relax our head, neck, and shoulders down on the, on the ground or on the mat. We're going to lift our legs. Our knees can stay bent. We can straighten them. Or if we want to try a shoulder stand, being sure to intertwine the shoulder blades together beneath us, really squeezing those shoulder blades together, taking a deep inhale, exhaling as we lift the hips up, straightening the legs. Our hands can come support us at our lower back, relaxing the neck, maybe taking a slight chin tuck to help with the breath. If this feels crazy, we can go right back to just our legs up or even with our knees bent. We have plenty of options here. Feeling the blood flow from our feet towards our heart. Maybe looking up at the sky here. Either seeing a clear blue sky, maybe some clouds. Maybe it's nighttime and we see some stars. One more breath here. And to come out of a shoulder stand, we're going to Bring our legs a little closer towards our face and slowly lower ourselves down. We can use our hands to guide us down nice and easy. And we'll bend the knees coming up nice and easy. Thank you guys so much for joining me today outside. Hopefully you were able to get out and enjoy the nice weather. If it's not a great day, save this video for later and try it next time you have some weather that you want to get out and enjoy. Thank you guys. Namaste.